Hi guys, so I was going to do a haul today, but I think I'm just going to focus on the one thing, which is the um, Crafter's Companion box number 9, which is, I guess, January. I don't know, like I said, I don't know when they send it out. They send it out at the end of the month, so I don't know if it's supposed to be for the next month or what, but um, this is what it looks like. I knew I had to do with embossing because they wrote on their... Oopsie, let me go back a little bit. On there, um, you can kind of see on HSN a little bit about maybe about the box. Sometimes it just says box number 10 or, you know, whatever. But um, sometimes it'll tell you a little bit. So, like, metallic markers or die cuts or something like that. So this one did say embossing folder. So I was like, well, it'll be interesting because this is 25 bucks and $5 shipping, I guess, roughly. Um, and, you know, embossing folders aren't, like, the most expensive thing. Except for the Crafter Companion, like, 3D ones are not cheap. But it says embossing folder craft kit. Gorgeous box. It's always really pretty. I have them sitting up um, in my craft room, just kind of all next to each other, so they look really pretty. So by the end of the year, they will take up the whole top of my hutch over my uh, desk here. So I'm going to open this up. It always has the same information. Welcome to your new project kit. Um, some information from... Uh, Sarah Davies or whatever and then it's always pretty with the paper and the little thank you card So they do great packaging. I think it's gorgeous. So let's see what's in here. All right And usually I wait I wait to see their videos I haven't seen their videos out yet on this and I love even going through it again Like I'm just going to go through it for you guys and then she goes through it and then she has some different video tutorials But um, we have an embossing folder. It's a little flower kind of um, Whenever I see drawings like this it always thinks it reminds me of like kids I don't know, because it looks like something a little kid would do. So a little floral spray, some words, which is fun because she had something like this on HSN. I'm like, I don't really do embossed words and like cards. I just don't do that. So the Thai birthday, I guess we can look. Uh, thank you, thinking of you and sending love. We have embossing folder, it says. And this one has a pretty little area here in the middle with the... I like little polka dots, that's cute with the floral kind of accents. We have another one with um, the little uh, butterflies and things. This is a 3D embossing folder, which is nice because these are their more expensive folders, um, which has a really pretty kind of rose. I hope you can see like maybe like ginkgo leaves, it looks like. Some other kind of like primroses, really pretty. And as far as I can see, that's all the like things that are reusable. Everything else is paper, so eh. Well, the ribbon. So this might not be my favorite box as far as the value. It depends. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, this is ribbon in different sizes. They always give you like a one inch or a little larger and then like a three quarter and like a half inch to coordinate with your papers. So it has lots of card blanks and envelopes. This might be a little bit bigger than A2. These are a square card blank and envelope. This looks like maybe a 5x7 card blanks and envelopes. Sorry about that shadow guys, this is what it looks like in the morning. White and black card and I'm assuming you're supposed to do some kind of fun stuff with that as far as um, embossing and then kind of maybe uh, doing some distressing or something, I don't know. Colored card and there's lots of colored card. I'm telling you, they always use like this orange and this yellow. I don't know why this yellow. I hate this yellow color. Look at and they include it in almost every package. I don't know, it's just not my favorite color. And I can see there's like blues and you know other kind of green. It looks like yellow, blue, green, and orange paper. And then um, toppers, oh, oh, okay, all right. Well, now there's a little more value, something that was under my hand here, I'll show it to you in a minute. You'll probably see it, but there's toppers. It looks like they're pretty much all the same. So what they do is they send you a ton of the same toppers, but maybe not. Let me open this up. I do see a little bit of variation in color. Oh my goodness. Come on. So we have two sheets of these that have happy anniversary. This kind of echoes that frame that was in that one um, embossing folder. So there's two sheets of that, two sheets of these, wishing the happiest of birthdays, you're the best. Again, that frame echoing that shape. Have a wonderful day. So there's lots of different sentiments, different places you can stamp and do things. Have a wonderful day. Just another couple sheets of these toppers or tags. Oh, this is a lot. Probably because, you know, the embossing folder thing. It's like, eh. And these guys. Oh my gosh, that shadow's driving me nuts. I'm so sorry. 
Okay, so here it is. I was like, there has to be a stamp set. This is crazy. So again, you guys know that their stamps are not like my complete favorite. They are acrylic. You do have to work with them if you know your ink beads up, whatever. Um, roll over maybe with it. Some people use a file file. I would do like um, like a this one I use for different things on paper. That's why it's all brown and gross. But I would just scrub this over the stamp. Obviously the backside before you go to stamp. Or you use some stays on and stays on will stick to it and then from there maybe you can stamp better. So there's different ways to work with these kind of guys. But this is cute. I like everything on here. Like this really echoes what's in the um, embossing folder. And these little guys, these are adorable. I love that for making like a little background scene. Again, really pretty. This one looks like a little heart with like different flowers and it. it's very busy. I don't know if you can see that. Have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Hello. Happy birthday. And some paper. So that stamps that kind of redeems some of what's going on in here. But then we have printed papers and I'll open this one up. Like if I didn't open the basic colors. And we have like roses, kind of striped paper, and the paper's nice and thick. It's not really like layering paper. It's a little bit thicker than layering paper, but not quite as thick as cardstock. Um, well, this one's pretty. I like the way that it has the whole. So this paper's 8x8. Eight eight. They said they try to max out whatever they can for the size of the box that you have. For the size of the box, obviously. This is pretty paper. So is this one. So very pretty papers. I never have a problem with their papers. They're usually very pretty. But that's it. So that's box number nine for January. Um, like I said, I, I don't know a lot about their schedule, but I think they're coming back in March or April, guys. And maybe at that time they'll be offering the new, if they offer another yearly subscription, I'm sure they will. I don't see why not. I think it seems like it's been pretty successful for them. But um, so keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.